Hello, it's Venice. Happy Easter. Uh, yesterday at my 10 a.m. Eat to Live nutrition talk, I talked about snacking during coronavirus. If you are really challenged by, by snacking, Saturday's conversation is really simple. I give like three things to look at uh, in terms of like how you can work with snacking. Uh, today, I'm actually going to share several of my favorite snacks. So, uh, if you are live, let me know and just say hi. Hey, buddies. And uh, if you are watching on the replay, let me know as well. You can put replay regular, RR, which is replay. Um, I'm really excited to share with you my snack ideas. So, I'm going to go um, kind of in order of easy to a little bit more like time and none of these really take a lot of time okay the first is um i have been looking for a alternative to yogurt that uh you know dairy yogurt and so i found something that is very fascinating and that is um yogurt alternative that is made with almond milk so this brand is silk almond milk Okay, I got this at Walmart, and um, this is gonna be the first snack. So, I'm going to lower my camera in a minute, and I'm gonna show you um, how to make this easy snack. So, you'll see the camera going down a little bit. Beep, 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 here we go. And God, I'm always nervous it's gonna like crash down or something, I, I don't think so. Okay, so, I've got my yogurt, now you could just, you know, eat it from in the container. That's not a problem. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna show you kind of how to make this yogurt it's yummy. This is a peach yogurt. Okay, so I'm gonna put the yogurt in a bowl. Okay. So I've got my yogurt in a bowl. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some berries. Okay, so the, if you are vegetarian, I have um, quite a few followers who prefer vegetarian um, food. This is almond milk, so this is vegetarian, okay? Um, you can add some berries. I'm a huge fan of dark cherries and also some wild berries. Okay, now what I do to save on time is I get a Ziploc and I measure out my berries and I freeze them so that when I'm ready to make my snack or if I'm gonna do a smoothie, I'm not really doing a lot of work. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. Let me get my little cup. This uh, particular bag that I have is wild berries. It's got some strawberries in it. Uh, and I also added a little bit of uh, pineapple. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a clean surface, I just cleaned it. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some cranberries and some almonds. Okay, now I have my serving sizes. Let's talk about that for a second. So I do one third cup. These are almonds. Um, I do want to give you a tip about almonds. When you take them out of the bag, I recommend that you soak them. Okay, so I, what I do is I get my almonds and I put them in a bowl and then I put water and I let them soak just for like, you know, 20 minutes now why is it a good idea to do that let me tell you why when you soak your almonds in water um, basically it helps I'm gonna give this to you in a really simple way it helps the protein that's in the almonds be more bioavailable for your body I recommend you get whole raw almonds no roasted no salted just raw Okay, and what you'll find is when you soak your almonds, they taste way, way better than if you did not soak them. So that's a really simple tip, okay, for almonds. 
So I'm going to add to my all to my little snack here some all I chopped them up. Okay, that's one third cup. And last, just some cranberries. These are dried cranberries. This is one third cup. All right. Um, now, usually I don't do a full third, but you know, I probably just do half of that. So this is our first snack. Okay. And just to kind of show you what it looks like from the side, let me see who's on. Hey, Justin, it's good to see you. Happy Easter, man. So look at this beautiful dish. It's not a dish, it's a snack. So you've got yogurt, you've got some frozen mixed berries, you've got some almonds, and also some cranberries. This serving size, this, this bowl looks really big like on my screen, but actually the serving size of this is like one cup. Okay, it just looks bigger on the camera. So one tip I recommend if you're snacking is just to really be very uh, aware of your serving sizes. <laughs> okay, so this is one snack. I'm gonna show you a second snack. Don't remember my tip on almonds. That's a really, really good snack uh, tip, okay? Here's another one. This is super, super simple, guys, okay? Uh, we have just celery sticks and also carrots. Okay, so some people, hey Marie, some people, I'm gonna lower my camera. Uh, I just basically, you know, like cut the carrot, celeries, uh, the carrot and the celeries. Some people love crunchy texture, right? If you love crunchy texture, this is a really good snack for you. It's just simply carrots and celery stick, okay? Celery stick. So what I did was I did peel them. I washed them and peeled them. And then I would do some a little bit of ranch now okay let's talk about this I'm not an extremist I that you may be like but Venice, you just told us yesterday that you don't like to eat anything in a in a box it's true I didn't say I will not eat anything in a box I said I don't like to eat anything in a box so things are in a package um, I just don't eat them all the time but I'm not saying I never eat them because that's extreme and I'm not I don't want to go that route okay so this is just a light ranch I, I got Walmart I'm gonna tell you why because there's Walmart in every city <laughs> and you can find great value anywhere so that's the reason why a lot of times when I'm cooking in my kitchen I actually do like to go to Walmart because I know there's probably a Walmart in your area so I basically have my veggies and a little bit of ranch, okay? Again, if you are really aware of calories, you wanna limit your portion size of the ranch. This may look really big, but it's really not. The serving size for this uh, container that I have is about a third of a cup, okay? You could do a fourth of a cup, but the whole point is, I don't recommend you like douse all your vegetables in dressing, okay? You get, you're getting more calories, just be aware of that. So we've got our vegetables. We've got a dairy alternative, like a little yogurt kind of parfait type of thing. So this is a second snack. Let me show you the third snack. And this is basically um, apples. Okay, so I just slice the apples. Okay, and um, almond butter. So I'm gonna talk about almond butter for a minute and why I'm a huge fan of almond butter. Uh, almond butter is, oh, let me go get my little um, scooper. Almond butter is a really great substitute for peanut butter. It has uh, more good fats in it for your body than peanut butter does. So if, if I'm gonna do a snack with any kind of nut butter, my first choice, my first choice is actually cashew butter. I love cashew butter. My second choice is almond butter and I very rarely will even eat all um, peanuts, peanut butter, because I've noticed that after I eat it, my stomach does not feel well. I feel very heavy. So I think my body does not digest peanuts very well. So basically I would take a half a tablespoon, heaping, you notice I'm generous, I'm not being stingy, and I would just put it right in the middle there. 
this is a great snack. I mean, some people love snacks. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Uh, you do want to consider like if you're eating and snacking a lot and you're not hungry, you really might want to explore that, but we're not going to do that on this cooking. So look how simple that is. We have a whole apple. This is Gala. That's my favorite with a little bit of almond butter. Okay, so this is the third easy snack. You could be watching, streaming online, watching your Netflix and do this as well. Okay, so that's the third one. The last one is one that I have been making a lot and I'm going a little nuts with it. This is like a cookie sheet. Okay, and I just put some parchment paper on here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is make some sweet potato chips. So I basically do, this is three, well really two pretty good size sweet potatoes, okay, that I peeled. Okay, then what I do is you can either this is something that uh, is really cool. Have you ever seen these? I think Pampered Chef sells these. It's olive oil in here, but it, like you pump this little pump thingy and then, well, you have to pump it really hard, okay? Um, then what you can do is spray. Spray your vegetables. And I didn't pump it enough, so that's what I've learned here is you have to pump it really hard, but I'm not gonna do that right now because of time. So this is one option, okay? Um, another thing I do is I'll use like grapeseed oil or olive oil just to spray the sweet potatoes. Now I'm gonna give you a tip, okay? You don't wanna do a lot of oil on the sweet potato. You know why? Because if you do, then the sweet potatoes come out really, really soggy. <laughs> I learned that one the hard way, okay? So word of the wise, Watch it on the amount of oil that you spray on, okay? Um, the next thing that I do, uh, I've said this many times, I'm a huge fan of Mrs. Dash. It's clean, it's just seasonings. I have, this is salt free. So what I do is I start seasoning. I'm pretty generous with this, it has no salt. Now I am a freak about spicy food. If anybody knows me, I love spice, like big time. So these, I'm making these foods for my husband because guess what, I'm on a liquid fast today. And I was like, crap, this sucks. I'm cooking all this food and I'm not gonna eat any of it. But my husband gets to enjoy it. So what I do is, and so I turned them over and now I'm gonna spray them just a little bit more, okay? Um, I like to spray these with cayenne pepper. And yesterday I made some with curry. Oh my God, they were so awesome. Now, lately I've been digging just lemon pepper. So I got this, this is Laurie's lemon pepper. Um, I do prefer like small business owner made. Uh, I have this one um, small business family owned company in, um, Colorado in Fort Collins that I really love, uh, but I have not purchased any recently. So they have all kinds of really great blends, but just lemon pepper. And then I do a little bit of salt. I just use Morton's, just a little bit of sea salt, of course. And I just put a little bit of salt, not a lot, all right? Now what I do is I put it in the oven on 450, 450 degrees for 12 minutes. Then I go and I turn over the chips. Now, um, let me show you real quick the thickness here. This is about uh, an inch, a little bit over an inch thick, okay? Um, whenever they're like more than that, they're gonna have to cook a little longer. So basically, you just, you know, you season and then you put them in the oven. And then we have, voila, through the magic of pre-cooking or pre-cooking before. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. These look burned, but I'm gonna tell you something. They're delicious. <laughs> now, 
everybody has a different kind of things that they like, okay? When I do my spicy sweet potatoes, I love for them to be a little bit charred, okay? So like, this is a little bit charred. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Now, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just go kind of basic. That's not really charred. What you see on the top is the seasoning that was baked, okay? So it's a total of, let's see, 12 minutes on 400, and then I do another 12 minutes. So that's 24 minutes in the oven. And these are great little snap snacks. Like I said, I like them charred, but you don't have to do them that way, but they're absolutely delicious. So we've been making these a lot um, and the, the sweet potatoes will shrink. So one thing you may wanna do, I'm gonna raise my camera, is um, you may want to when you go to the grocery store, I'm trying not to touch my face, my hair is in my, my eye. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, I recommend that you get um, a good size sweet potato. Okay, you don't want a small one because the sweet potato is going to shrink, word of the wise, okay? So today we basically made, just to kind of recap here, uh, I made sweet potato chips, I made a little yogurt parfait, Yum, yum, yum. With dairy free, we made our, or we just prepared a little, look at that beautiful little situation, almond butter with apples. We did a little bit of veggies, nom, nom, nom. And we also did the veggie sweet potato chip. So that's my session for today. Um, I really, the other thing I loved about all of these uh, recipes is they don't cost a lot of money. I shared with you my chip story. I went to go buy a bag of like healthy chips and they were $7.99 a bag. And I was like, absolutely not. That's nuts. I refuse to pay $8 for a bag of healthy chips. So I decided I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> Oh, Teresa said blackened. That's the best way to say it, Teresa. Everybody has their own preference. If you do not like your sweet potato chips blackened, then just don't cook them that long, okay? <laughs> so that's how I like it, all right? Yes, please try them. If you are in my detox group, because right now I'm, I'm doing a detox with some friends who I invited everybody like a few times the week before we started. Um, I'm actually gonna, I, I'm almost done with editing my videos and I'm putting them inside the detox group. So um, I just wanna provide people with all of these great ideas. The other thing is you can always follow my stories because on my stories, pretty much what I do is I just share with you what I'm cooking. And so that's another way you can kind of get some easy uh, meal ideas. And then of course there's Sunday, which is for me in the month of April, I have a real focus of eating healthy on a budget because you know, there's lots of people right now not working and we're just, you know, I know we are, we're trying to be extremely just conservative with our dollars and trying to make it last and stretch as long and far as we can. So I'll see you next Sunday. Bye guys.